round one. So first juvenile uh, bout of the evening. And of course, enjoying the sweet marriage between the Ghana Boxing Authority and the Amateur Boxing uh, Federation as well. So we need to lift up these young ones as we take a look at prospects for the future. So two young boxers who are ready to entertain the crowd, but of course also show how much they've learned, how, how much they've picked up uh, from their coaches dotted around the uh, various gyms. Yeah, and one thing we've spoken about, this Ghana professional uh, boxing is that we needed people to come on board. We needed sponsors to come on board. So it's pretty much amazing to hear Deluxe is now a huge part of this professional boxing league. So we encourage each and every individual, each and every organization to come on board. We are helping the future. We are generating future champions. And this is where we need to be serious and take good care of them. They must grow, they must become future world champions, and we are grooming them right from here. Look at these young chaps going toe to toe. I mean, sometimes you will love it, but they need to go through training. They need to participate through this kind of um, bout to grow up and become future champions. Well, Jude, let's take our, uh, uh, the minds of our viewers back to uh, Fight Night 1, where we saw some of the juveniles exhibit their skill, their strength, their boxing uh, abilities are uh, here. And it so happens that most of those who've been watching the, uh, the Deluxe Professional Boxing League, either at home in the comfort zones or here with us at the Bukum Boxing Arena, have started falling in love with these young potentials, uh, if I should call them that. And I remember one name that stands out, Prince. And Prince was, oh, so magnificent on that first fight night. There's a pending bout that has been lined up by the uh, former Minister for Youth and Sports. Again, what, what kind of impetus does that give Everyone is to the team. generation? We go do anything for the view. Taking a fancy on the road and sing your life. I've never heard no one say this is comfortable. No way, where we put down all the war. I'm a bomb in your ear. We're going to have to push you up. German, you are buying in here. Could I have a dead one? I'll be up back. What they need to learn. what they need to do to become top boxers well back in the day it was termed a sport for the uh, dropouts from school but almost all the juvenile boxers that we have had on the deluxe professional boxing league at least speak very good english exactly exactly and it's it's, it's a combination of going to school and also you know learning the act of boxing you need to grow up you need to learn a lot now school will brighten you up will enlighten you and then you know you go through the training regiment and you become a top class boxer that is what the gba is doing it's school and boxing well it couldn't have been more so a rich combination of going to school and of course also perfecting the art of uh, boxing well, I'm praying some of these juveniles grow up and then they will join the Black Bombers very soon. We want to see them um, in the Olympics as well. Future looks bright for these uh, young talents. And sometimes it's interesting. You remember a few of the times we went through some of the boxing gyms in Accra. There is time made for these young ones. So they've got trainers in the various gyms who take the kids through the basic rudiments. Of boxing now sometimes it's interesting to see how attentive these boxers are listening to the uh, trainers and don't forget 
the women or the girls have not been left behind. Exactly, and that's amazing to see some of the girls really training very hard, going through the regiment, like you said, and, and they look poised for action. They really want to make it through boxing. And for me, boxing do sell the country Ghana than probably any other sport. It is an individual sport. You need to survive when you are in it. But they need to grow, they need to learn. And for the women, we are going to really back them. And that's why, why we need a lot of sponsors on board. We need to, to, to cater for their ed education, cater for their training regimen. We need to also make sure the trainers are in good shape. End of the round for these two young ones. And we've got a lot of them lined up. Well, not a lot of them. But we've got some three young adults of the uh, juvenile. Once again, thank you very much for joining us. We are the Book of Boxing Arena. Collaboration between the Ghana Boxing Authority and its promoters. Imax Media Group. Led by that man there, Mr. Maxwell Teji. I don't know how he, how, how he finds time to be here every boxing night. Well, he's here as a leader actually. We always want to show the world. He's doing this for his life. I mean, he's special. Imax are giving him the talent. Talented is here. As well as the professional boxers. Dead and the final round. What more words can we throw at Max Tortecci? I mean, he has been the orchestra of everything here. Amazing, amazing. I mean, he's been superb for, for, for this boxing league. Together with uh, Mr. Hejazi. Now look at the two boxers go. Flurry of uh, punches being delivered by the two. They're not giving up. They're still on their feet. Toe to toe boxing. And the appreciation comes from uh, the boxing family gathered here at the Bukum Boxing Arena. And again, they're giving a clear description of what they've gone through uh, during, during the week in the gym. Well, they are not afraid to go at each other. I mean, they are throwing the hooks, they are going with the jabs, they are throwing power punches. In a mix, they will grow up to know when to throw the, 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 the power punch, when to throw um, um, the uppercuts and all that. So, we, 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 we are seeing, you know, good anticipation, good energy. This is what we want to see. This is the developmental stage. So, we will see a lot more action like this, but tactically and technically, they will grow and learn more. Some good boxing skills from uh, these young ones. Entertaining the crowd here this evening. We we'll still continue with the give and take. And I can tell you, most of them are throwing some very accurate punches in there too. Not missing the target, keeping their guard up whilst they do that. And obviously, you know, the fans are loving every bit of it. I mean, it gives you a very clear uh, image of amateur boxing. And especially more so when Ghana has uh, recorded some successes, especially at uh, the Olympic Games and the Commonwealth Games as well future of the black bombers is looking bright with each and every passing day i had a chat with uh, coach latikwe who's part of the uh, technical handlers of the black bombers and he says prince it is even difficult when it comes to selection yeah, exactly and talking about common war <laughs> the professors who yeah, are losing so what's a common one winner i mean Thank you very much. That was an interesting criminal fight. Now we have the verdict. We have the verdict. Shall we put hands together for the two boxes? You know, as usual, the verdict I have here. The fight has been declared as a draw. Now, 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 can I have the boxes? Hi, how are you? You are fine. Oh, I see. Do you go to school? Yes, please. Where, where do you school? 28 February Road. Where? 28 February Road. Very well. How old are you? 13. 13 years. Now, why do you want to do boxing? Like, I want to be like Azuma Nelson. You want to be like Azuma Nelson? And your full name is? 
Raymond Tete. Raymond Tete want to be like Zoom Zoom Azuma Nelson. Charlie, you look very good. How are you? I'm fine. You also go to school? Yes. Where do you school? Akasi Music School. Fantastic. Which form? Form 3. JSS? Please, let's put hands together for him. Now, what is your full name? Emmanuel Jumo. Emmanuel Jumo. Emma, why do you want to do boxing? Because boxing is the easy way to make my uh, boxing is the easy way to make my life successful. Oh, really? Now, did you hear that? That boxing is the easier way to make his life successful. That is what he said. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, who do you want to be? You know, he said Azuma Nelson. What about you? Joshua Clotte. Joshua Clotte. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. These are young boxers who want to be like Azuma Nelson and Joshua Clotte.